It's my favorite time of the year. It's time to declutter my entire apartment. It's my favorite time to declutter and let things go because I love to start the new year with a fresh start. So I invite you to join along with me and declutter your own home too. So I think we're gonna start in the living room since I'm already here. I always start in the kitchen, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit. It looks like the last time I did a video decluttering my entire home was back in June. So it's definitely time to go through everything again and I'm excited to see what I can let go today. So we're going to start here on the TV console and one thing that is leaving this weekend is actually this cable box. I don't think I've mentioned this but we have had cable for a while and I always just tried to convince my partner to cut the cord and get rid of the cable and I finally was able to convince him after so many years. I'm very excited that we're going to let this go this weekend so these two are gonna go. This is our PS4, which we use, so we're gonna keep that. But I am so excited for this box to go and not to be spending money on cable anymore. Now we're gonna go through this section. So in here, I keep books, DVDs, and then over here on that side, this one is the more messier side. This is most of my partner's stuff, so we're definitely gonna get him to declutter some of this stuff because I I just don't know what this all is. None of it's mine. This is mainly my side which has books and movies. I'm going to let go of these three books. This one I just finished reading not too long ago and it was such a good book. I almost want to keep it actually, but my book collection is limited in space. So unfortunately, I'm gonna let it go, but really good book. I read this one, I also enjoyed it. And this one, I don't think I even read or maybe I did and I just don't remember. <laughs> but these are the three that I'm deciding to donate to my little library. And now, I have all the books that I love and want to keep in here. And then we decided we're going to keep all the DVDs and those workout DVDs as well. This is everything that was in there that he's going to let go. So we have a ton of stuff in here. It literally just took him about five, maybe ten minutes to go in here and make the decisions of what he wanted to let go. And now it looks so much better in here. This is what it's like to live with a non-minimalist. <laughs> I'm the minimalist, he's not. If I didn't have to share my space, this would probably be holding more of my favorite books. Also, the cable would have been cut a long time ago, but today is that day. Let's see what's in this drawer. So for those of you that don't know, we don't have a dining table. So we eat here on this coffee table. So that's why we have napkins in here. It just it's easier to have them here while we're eating. We can just open the drawer and take our napkins out. So that's why we have napkins in there. And then let's see. Crayons, more games, my adult coloring book, In this drawer, I'm gonna let go of these cords that we don't use. I actually don't even know what they belong to, so I don't even know when the last time we used this was, so I'm guessing we don't need it. That's gonna go. And then some eye drops were in here. This was when Callie had some irritation in her eyes, so we had these eye drops for her, but she doesn't need them anymore and 
These expire in a year, so maybe I can put it in my buy nothing group and maybe someone can use these. Over here is also the internet that we're getting rid of along with our cable so that's gonna go and i think these are the cords that belong to it this is my book light just need to put that away these are some instructions for our new internet so i don't think we need this anymore since we already set it up and now let's go through this drawer not much in this drawer, but it just does not make any sense at all. So this is a high school yearbook. That's my partner's. This is an old manual for one of my book lights. Don't need that. So we can throw that away. This is also my partner. So we're going to set these aside for him. This is my very old and cracked iPhone. I'm going to just find an e-waste for this and get rid of it because this is not serving me at all. And then this is where I keep my Nintendo DS and its charger lives here too. This is a birthday card and a yearbook. That needs to go somewhere else and then we'll see what he wants to do with that. Moving on over here to this. This is kind of our bar cart in a way and also holds other things in here that just don't have homes so this looks pretty cluttered so let's see if we can find anything in there and then down below i keep a couple of my candles and that's actually a christmas present for a friend that i'm storing right now since we don't have a christmas tree to put it under just yet so we're gonna keep everything there everything up there looks okay moving on here everything looks good in there here's the one that i know has a couple of things that we can let go of so i'm going to take everything out This is everything that was in there and we're letting go of this little drink library gadget tool. You can come up with different concoctions for mixed drinks and stuff like that which is pretty cool but we got this as a gift over three years ago and have not used it once. So I think it's time to let it go. I kept telling myself that I'm going to use it a million times and it just never happened. So this is going to go. I got these two coasters from Disneyland's Skyline Terrace. This was a very neat dinner that I had for my birthday this year and I decided to keep the coasters as souvenirs but I don't really care for them anymore so we're gonna get rid of that too. This is a pocket knife that my partner is trying to fix so you can see the pieces here fell out. Not sure what his plan is for that but we'll put this to the side for now i'm gonna let go of this wine aerator we have a different one now that we just enjoy much better than this one so i'm gonna donate that and all these things we're gonna keep back in there So like I said, I'm just storing this Christmas gift in here for now, but I have a couple of candles in here that I need to use up. And then I have these Coke bottles that I got from the Coke store in Las Vegas. And I can't even remember what year it was that I got these, but I got them because I thought they were super cute. They both say soulmate on it, which I thought was cute at the time. But why am I holding on to these? Like, I don't know if you can tell, but they're super dusty. And I just don't really have them out displayed. They're kind of just shoved there in that corner. So I think it's time to let them go. Next, we're going to go through our little linen closet over here. Here are all our blankets and towels 
and bed sheets and stuff. This blanket I just washed and dried recently, but I realized that I no longer love it anymore. Bought this for Christmas a few years ago, and even though it's perfect for this season and time, it's just not very fuzzy and comfortable anymore. It actually feels kind of rough because it's been used and washed so many times. So I'm going to donate this blanket for sure. So let's see if there's anything else in here that I can find to let go. This is an old shower curtain that I used to have, this brown one, in our bathroom. But honestly, I was never a big fan of this color. It's just too dark for my liking. It made the bathroom seem very dark. And so that can go. And then this other side, um, I was not expecting to get emotional. <laughs> Um, this other shower curtain is um, something that my grandma gave me before she passed. She actually gave me the shower curtain with this bag, and so um, oh man, I was not expecting to cry in this video. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make it a point to use this because it's just been sitting in here stored away and it's a beautiful shower curtain is just not being used so I want to use it I don't even know if this was hers or if she got it maybe thrifted or something but just the fact that she passed it along to me before she passed away is the reason why I've been holding on to this um, so I'm gonna keep this for now and then definitely let go of this ugly brown shower curtain <laughs> that I was never a fan of so yeah. next we're moving on to my workspace this is very important to keep clutter free and I have to go through this regularly because since I work here for hours and hours every single day I need to make sure that this functions very well for me so let's see what we can find in here so I have this folder where I keep important papers that I need to access easily and I just don't want this on my desk anymore because my space is very small and I want to see if I can get rid of this whole thing today not sure how I feel about that because like I said, I like to use this for things that I need to access really quickly. Like for example, I need to go to Costco very soon and in here I have the savings books so I can see what deals they have. So when I go to the store, I know what to get. So just things like that I like to keep in here that I want to access. Also, I like that it has this little pen holder here on the side, but I just don't like how much space it takes up. On my tiny desk so let's see if we can figure out a whole system for this because kind of want to get rid of that 
I want to take a quick decluttering break to talk to you guys about Ana Luisa's jewelry sale. You guys already know if you watch my videos that I wear their jewelry all the time and today is no exception with my earrings and my necklace but they're having a holiday sale where you can get up to 35% off their already affordable jewelry. Their jewelry is long lasting, tarnish resistant. I've had pieces for over a couple of years and they're still in great condition because because of their great quality. In one of my other recent videos, I did mention that I was gifting a necklace to my mom this holiday season, so I'm super excited to give her the perfect gift. And I did get a couple of other pieces for myself. I got these silver hoop earrings that are just so beautiful. Probably gonna wear these during Christmas. And I also got this um, initial letter necklace with the letter M, obviously for my name. I'm very excited to wear these on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. If you're still doing some last minute holiday shopping and you don't know what to get for that person, I highly recommend the Ana Luisa jewelry. They won't be disappointed. There's a ton of different selections on their website, so I'm confident you're gonna find something that you will love for either yourself or for another person. So go grab the perfect jewelry gift this holiday season. Click the link in the description below so you can get 35% off and free shipping on your order. If you do end up getting any of their jewelry, let me know in the comments which one you get and what you think. Okay, after looking at everything here, I think I can find a different home for all these things that I do need to keep, and I can finally get rid of this. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of all these HelloFresh cards that I kept whenever I got the box for all these meals. I kept these because these were some of my favorite recipes that I made, and I wanted to keep them because I wanted to get these ingredients so I can make this on my own. Did I ever do that? No. I had the intentions of making these meals again. Since they list all the ingredients in here and it shows you step by step on how to cook it, I thought that I would use them. But they've been sitting here for over a year, maybe two. And I never once have pulled out these cards and made any of these recipes. So we're gonna recycle that. This is an old check that I already cashed out. So that's gonna go into the recycling. Here is a piece of paper with some passwords that I don't need. I've mentioned this before, but I'm an annual pass holder at Disneyland. And sometimes they give away these like free souvenirs or whatever you call them. And I have two of these little cute maps but do I really need them I mean they're really cute but I just don't know where I'm gonna put them they're like too cute to be just folded up and stored away maybe I'll keep one just as a collectible so I'm gonna throw one out okay here are these expense and bill trackers that I wanted to use, but I never did. <laughs>
found this hilarious photo from a friend of mine when we went to Vegas. <laughs> this is with the Chippendales on the Vegas Strip. Good times. I think I did it. I think I'm able to survive without this folder. I'm so excited. I used to love this. I thrifted this from Goodwill a long time ago and I love how it looks. It's been working out great for so long, but I just am really over the clutter on my desk and I'm just trying to have as less as I can on there. And this was definitely something that was not very pretty to have sitting on my desk. And on top of that, like I said, it takes up way too much space. So I think I did it. This is gonna go. And I'm gonna put all these pens in here. Oh, now that's overflowing. Gotta do more decluttering. And now we have to work on this drawer. So it looks quite messy right now. I just added all those pens from that organizer over there. I threw them all in here, but as you can see, there's like too many in here now. Bunch of other stuff that just needs to be better organized. How many of you guys remember when I got this drawer organizer? It's actually meant for the kitchen to put your utensils in there, but it just did not fit in there. And I was like, I think it can fit in my desk. So I've been using it in here and it organizes everything very well. So now we have to figure out how to put these things back inside. It's pretty empty. Here are some old phone cases that can go. Don't have these phones anymore, so why hold on to them? And this is a Kindle that I got from my Buy Nothing group. I think I'm going to donate this bag because if I'm being honest, I haven't really used this as much as I thought I would. And so we're gonna give that back. Um, got some adhesive, some earphones, chargers. This is a portable charger. Not sure if this works, so I need to test that out. I think it needs to be charged first, though, so we'll see. Put that to the side. And then down here, I've already gone through everything. Everything in here is a keep. So that's good. All right, so now my pile for everything that I'm letting go. 
So I just showed you guys these two things. They're all gonna go. This folder that I love, but I just don't love how much space it takes up. So it's gonna go back to Goodwill. These are actually my bookmarks. So we're gonna keep that. Letting go of some manuals, some stickers that I don't want. Expired coupons for fast food places. Some receipts that are no longer needed. Just a piece of paper with some notes, a coupon that I'm not going to use, and more paper over here. And I also am going to get rid of these Sharpies, more expired coupons, and that's everything that's leaving. Oh, this too. It's HDMI cable. I don't really use it, so that's going to go. Going to see if this still works. These are gonna go. And the rest of this stuff is just going to be rehomed. And now look at how much better this looks. Such a big difference. Looking good. Another area we need to declutter is our balcony. This is what we're working with right now. We had this table out in our balcony and on top of this were a bunch of plants but we no longer want this table anymore so this is gonna go right <laughs> so we got rid of that folding table that was sitting here and now we have this shelf so I'm going to organize the stuff that we're keeping on there and then we're decluttering the rest have some stuff sitting on our air conditioner over here let's see what we can get rid of I feel like this had a purpose but I don't know what it is so put that to the side watering can I think we can get rid of this We're gonna get rid of that birdcage back there. We actually don't know how that got here, so it's not really ours. So we're gonna let that go. These are a pair of tennis rackets. We used to play tennis back in the day, but it's not something that we do anymore, so no need for these. The next is this workout stepladder. Only used it a couple times. Don't really want it anymore gonna get rid of this and this grill here we're also gonna get rid of these pumpkins and then these dead plants this as well this lighter fluid and this whatever you call it and yeah all these things feels good to be letting these things go and now we have this little corner here with our shelf put a couple plants up there extra pots and a couple of storage bins down there and our cooler that we put there it did not fit under there so we just put it next to our grill and yeah looks so much better than before and that's everything for part one of this declutter series make sure you're liking this video and subscribe so you don't miss part two. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.